if you look at seeking, let's say this is energy of seeking. It's got two ends. Um, one end yeah. is outwards. Like somebody has what I don't have. Or this moment is not good enough. In the future, if I do this or if I mm -hmm. fix that, it's going to be okay. That's seeking. It's outwards. Yes. Okay? This end at the same time is running away from something. Mm -hmm. So it's arising as together. It's running away from current unpleasant situation or feeling or sensation into some imagined future where that sensation is not there. Yes. Right? That's seeking. Like, and there's yeah. nobody doing yeah. that. But as soon as there is some kind of unpleasant, unwanted, negative, bad sensation, emotion, there is a seeking to fix it by looking outwards and trying to find the solution for that. But the solution is this. Flip. <laughs> Hello, Laurencio. Hey, Lena. Great to be with you. Nice to see you. So I'm curious. Did you notice anything interesting or different since our last meeting? About yes. all this self, no self, awakening, and whatever you want to call it. Um, I did. Um, so when we met first time, I was really stressed because um, I am a project manager with big projects, so demanding work and uh, big family, demanding family also. Mm -hmm. And um, although I have, uh, let's say, kind of a spiritual background and search for many years, it still feels like the pressure of the world sometimes is uh, really much. And uh, there is a lot of stress mm -hmm. um, attached to that. And when we met first time, um, and we talked about, uh, I told you about this, you made some pointers, um, which made the shift in, uh, in me. And uh, yeah, because uh, it seems that uh, I have um, kind of a blind spot and I'm discovering them as I go. Mm -hmm. And uh, the pointer that, uh, that moved me was when you told me that um, uh, decisions are already part of the situation. So I, I don't make so, so the, my stress was that I'm doing decision all day at work and at home. I mean, every few minutes I have to take a decision to do something. And this puts a lot of pressure on me. Mm -hmm. So when you pointed out that uh, decision, the decisions exist already, it, it, it made a click for me. I said, yeah, that's it. Because, um, we operate from conditioning all the time. Uh, not only me, but everybody around me, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I have to be really, 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 really honest with me, decisions happen happen by themselves. They seem like I do them, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, for sure they uh, op conditioning operates. And anyway, uh, realizing this. Uh, um, I begin to relax more, to feel more, more relaxed during uh, stressful times. I mean, the stress is not gone, of course, but mm -hmm. it's, it's in a way a bit different, I would say. Mm. How interesting! Yeah, huh. yeah. <laughs> and I think I and I think you have, and I think you have a gift of uh, pointing out to people. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I really do. <laughs> Thank because you. this is this is how um, this is how um, I had uh, an attraction to to meet you. Um, you know, when um, when being interested in spirituality for so many years, I think there is a of a sense developing of spiritual people, uh -huh. regardless of yeah. <laughs> any system or, and it, of course, depends what you understand uh, but, about, about spirituality, but. Uh, when I saw a video of you of explaining uh, a bit about uh, this no self, uh, I felt that, yeah, 
<laughs> she has something. <laughs> <laughs> so already already a shift is happening. Uh maybe it began many years ago for sure. Hmm. But, well, it's, uh, it's an ongoing unfoldment. Life is just continuous yes. unfoldment, continuous spontaneous yeah. unfoldment. So yeah. it's just a matter of seeing it, recognizing it and trusting it. In mm -hmm. a lot of ways it's about trusting it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I resonate with that. Cool. Trusting, trusting life more than <laughs> than the self, the self. <laughs> it's an imagined creature <laughs> yeah. that apparently lives inside the body or the head or the brain or somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I still don't know if I get it or not. The, the thing is that um, I am, um, let's say, a lay Buddhist person. I discovered Buddhism about maybe eight years ago or so. And uh, I got interested more and more and more. Um, and got to trust the Buddha's teachings more and more and more. Um, and the thing is that in Buddhism, the, there is a, this is normal, the no self. Mm -hmm. So in Buddhism, enlightenment means uh, there, are, there is a specific, uh, uh, some specific enlightenment stages, and the first in in the first one, they say that three fetters. I'm sure you know about this, <laughs> but um, they say that the the first fetters to fall are the self view, the um, attachments to rites and the rituals, and I think. Ah, yeah, and the doubt in uh, Buddha's teachings. So this, these are the first few that um, that uh, happen for a person. So I, I wanted to say that for me, also, also on my spiritual path, I consider uh, spiritual path also intense suffering for about ten years and uh, great depression. Mm -hmm. That that kind of finished ten years ago, and um, uh -huh. a lot of um, a lot of insights happened then. Uh, also about the self, and I think somehow they are all the tied together, and this is what I recognize in uh, Buddhism. So the insight the insights I had before Buddhism was that I created my own suffering. Mm -hmm. 100%. So this was a powerful insight. Uh, then that everything we do is based on conditioning. So I couldn't identify something else than conditioning that uh, that reacts to the world. Yeah, and they all tie together. So coming coming to to talk to you, I felt that there is something to talk about uh, while. Uh, yeah. There is also this, uh, let's say, um, communication that happens beside words. Mm -hmm. um, sure. That I came, I came to um, understand and realize a bit that this is happening. And although we are talking and speaking words, something more is going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, I'm not sure if I really get it that there is no self or not. Because oh, I'm used how to. interesting! Okay. I so, don't. I don't even. I don't know if I care that much. <laughs> that's nice. That means you know the question dissolved. Yeah, yeah, and um, I don't know. So if, okay, if I if I ask you this yeah. right now, you tell sure. me. Yeah. Do you believe that you are separate from life, making life happen? No. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> No, I cannot be. <laughs> is it possible <laughs> that there is somebody outside of life, separate from life, making life happen? Uh, no, I no, I, I don't think so. There is uh, this uh, sense of self, well, okay. I think, which which everybody knows. All right. And so which... let's let's stop here. Sense of self. Mm -hmm. Okay, where is it now? I, 
I, I would say that it's coming more from the chest area for me. I feel it here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look at that feeling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What else can it be called? Mm -hmm. Interesting question. Some kind of a center. Okay. okay. And what else can it be called? Some kind of awareness. Mm. So, so it's inside somewhere here. Uh, the yeah. awareness is inside there. Yeah. I, this is how I feel. I, I mean, not only here, maybe in the head also, but I feel uh -huh. it in the body also. Okay. Can it be called a sensation? Ah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There, there are uh, there are physical sensations associated with, it, of course. Yes. Because this is how I, this is how I feel it. Yes. This is <laughs> how you know it's, not, it, it's a yeah, sensation. Yeah. If, if it were not a sensation, yeah, <laughs> we could feel it. <laughs> So yeah. is life happening to that sensation or as that sensation? Mm. Never thought of it like that. Look at the raw sensation. Just that. Is life happening to this sensation or as this sensation? You're right. Um, most of the time, I would say that uh, life happens to the sensation. But if I stop and really look, um, all of life my, must must be included in this sensation. I mean, life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's yeah. just another sensation. Yeah. Yeah. Just another yeah. sensation, somehow yeah, yeah. labeled sense of yeah, self. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I am. This is me. This is awareness. Yeah, yeah. But really, but it's just in, uh, another sensation. Yes, you're right. But um, we don't have time to to notice these uh, things in normal life. Um, mm. Yeah. So, okay, sensation arises, a thought comes in, oh, this is me. Mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> sensation yeah, yeah. is me. Oh, it's mine. Why am mm -hmm. that? But it's really just a sensation. Yeah, the self is a sensation also. Yeah. Hmm. So that sensation and, and, is not a self. And, it's no, a no, self. no, the sensation. Yeah. Like, and you know, you're, you're right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Sensation. You're right, you're right, you're right. Sensation. And you're right that you can sum it all up to a sensation. Uh, it's not separate from life and anything else. So it's all of it is a sensation. Hmm. Hmm. So what is that sense of self? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so it's a, it's, a, it's a sensation, but... Mm. A sensation. Right. <laughs> I, I don't I don't know how to call it <laughs> differently. Yeah. Yeah. And there is an idea that there has to be a self, there is a self, there must be a self, there's a separate self. There was somewhere here. yes, yes. Yeah. There so was that, but 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 that you idea know... gets like overlaid on the sensation. You're right. And believed but, to be me. Yeah. The the thing is that uh, it's interesting. As years uh, pass and uh, we contemplate these uh, things, we come to an understanding that there is no self. But mm -hmm. I think that there are still 
uh, unconscious beliefs. Oh yeah, sure. So I think that on deeper level, uh, there there is some kind of belief that there is a self. I mean, it must be because um, I get provoked uh, during life, maybe at work, in family, you know, and the reactions come. Oh, is and, that because uh, there is a self? Just because there is conditioning? Conditioning. Aha. Uh -huh. So it's not but, the self that gets provoked. Correct. Correct. It's conditioning. Yeah. Mm. But uh, isn't conditioning a set of many, many, many beliefs? Yes. This is... This is so... Although when um, uh, being mindful and very direct, in which which is what I um, was attracted for in this guiding process, is that we talk about experience, so we don't go in the head in theory. Mm -hmm. And um, I forgot my idea. We were talking about that that unconscious beliefs. Uh, yeah. So they seem to operate these unconscious beliefs because this is how, and and I'm talking uh, about the false ones that uh, we uh, are causing our are causing ourselves suffering each mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. So in reacting, in reacting, I cause suffering suffering for me and for uh, those around me. Okay, let uh, me share something with you here. Hmm? Let me share some different view. Okay, I call this a, a bicycle metaphor. <laughs> mm. So imagine one day you are on your bicycle, going, yeah. going, going. Your shoelace get loose, get strapped into the chain. You fall over and you hurt mm -hmm. your leg. So you stand up and you are pushing the bike, just like that, pushing. And somebody is walking past from behind and just like gently bumps into your leg. But because it's hurt, mm. you jump and you re react and you say, hey, you idiot, why don't you go on another street, on another side of the street? You know, how can you bump into people and you start this whole like rage because mm -hmm. he touched the, the wound, mm -hmm. right? And another day you are just walking, your leg is fine, everything's fine and somebody bumps into you stronger or whatever. And they say, I'm sorry. And you say, yeah, no worries. Mm -hmm. And you walk away. So that reaction happens when there's mm -hmm. something painful touched. Mm -hmm. And it can be a glimpse, a word, a feeling, just a look, yeah. some stronger words. doesn't matter. But as long as there is a wound that hurts when yeah. it's being touched, there is a reaction. Yeah. That's how you know that there is something hurting there. Yeah. Otherwise, you don't know it's there. You need to bump into something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure this is the, the process. But I think many times we don't know what is hurting there. Yes. So it's, it's, it's just a reaction that appears. and So the reaction we, we is not hurting yeah. you. The reaction is protecting the hurt that is already there. Oh. Mm. It's like a solution to... To the pain. Mm -hmm. It's not something yeah. to get rid of. It's something that says, okay, look there, there's something hurting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see? Yeah, 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 yeah. So these reactions that happen, they are actually blessings. So if you have enough yeah. awareness, you can look exactly. and see what's exactly. hurting. If the, you don't have awareness, are... you continue reacting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Those are pointers to look at, mm -hmm. but it's not so easy. Even if even if you know there are pointers, it's not so easy. You know, uh, I find it very difficult to look, for example, after a long, difficult day. It seems to me like um, this um, daily energy quota, let's say, <laughs> like this. <laughs> Stamina. Has, <laughs> yes, has a limit, and uh -huh. and once 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 you pass certain levels, for me, and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm talking from what once I pass certain levels, um, I don't have energy to look 
anymore. Hmm. So in the evening, uh, I don't, uh, I, I not feel like, like inquiring now. I'm, I'm too tired. So I m- maybe open some YouTube to relax. <laughs> you know. So this is what happens <laughs> usually. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. But during meditation, of course, I look, but. Uh, uh, it's difficult during the t- time of the day, work, and in the in the evenings for me. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So you find your own comfortable time when you have energy and yeah uh, enough power in yourselves. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Charged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like this. Okay, so yes, there is conditioning, the programs, ideas, beliefs, energies, and it's all happening by itself, running freely, Mm. all depending on everything else, and just playing out like a show. Yeah. You know, I wondered for many years, what is uh, our degree of freedoms, of, of freedom in life. Mm-hmm. To what extent am I free? And I, um, I, I no longer uh, am searching for that, but I searched for many years. Um, and the only uh, seeming valid answer I could find is that the only freedom is to observe. Uh, this is the answer that I found. So, mm-hmm. um, other, otherwise, uh, all things operate by uh, cause and effect rules and conditioning, and uh, even what I'm speaking now and so on. So, the only valid answer I could find is this one that we have the freedom to observe what is going on. And and I think even further than this, uh, while uh, observing, it's slowly changing the conditioning for the better. Let's say this, yeah. Mm, very nice. Yeah, I agree. Ah. Uh. Yeah. But how to uh, how to live more f- from this observing <laughs> in a <laughs> busy? <laughs> it's a different thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, mm. your word for observing for me is the word presence, or being present, or being mm. here. Be- being aware. Being here. Mm-hmm. Not in the mind, not in the imagination, not in the stories, but being here. Yeah. And that's given. That's always here. It's nothing to find. It's no hiding. Mm. It's absolutely always here. Yeah. So yeah. how to live yeah. from that? You already do. Yeah. 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 No, it's the same. When I say observing, I didn't say that there is someone uh-huh. observing. Yes. Yes. I hear you. That's. Yeah. yeah, yeah I, I say yeah. I agree. It's just yeah. different words to say the same. Yeah. Mm. So being here, how difficult is to be here? It's not difficult when uh, uh, we are quiet, when uh, we don't have uh, <laughs> deadlines and <laughs> people asking many things of us. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's not difficult we, when we don't have that, but when we have all that around us and children, oh, I want uh-huh. this, I want that. <laughs> Then where are you? Oh, I disappear. Not here. Oh, you disappear. That's fun. <laughs> where I do you go? I, I don't know. I disappear into the situation, I guess, and into what I'm doing uh, at that moment. Uh, and by disappearing, I would say there is no longer this kind of observing and this kind of presence. I disappear in the situation that needs to be dealt with. Sweet. <laughs> Should it be different? <laughs> it, I, I think it, it cannot be. I think it cannot be different. 
Yeah, you're fully involved in what is happening. Yeah. You're present yeah. to what is happening. Maybe yeah. not aware of being present, but you're still there. Aware. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the 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 situation uh, that I'm faced with fills up all the yeah all the space and attention somehow 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 I don't know somehow <laughs> focuses focuses uh-huh. on uh, focuses on the situation and right. uh, you don't see laterally so much yeah. in uh, when involved in um, stressful situations <laughs> yeah mm. but um, uh, as time passes also it seems that and uh, with your pointers and um, reflecting about uh, the self at different times it, it seems that also slowly 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 awareness uh, seems to increase also in these stressful s- situations hmm. this, this, is, this is how I feel <laughs> so I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, coming to the I don't know is a big achievement because you know I was um, uh, raised Catholic, and uh, I really practice maybe until. I I got aware of being Catholic at around maybe 15 and really, really practiced until about 18 and then slowly started to fade away into I don't believe. Uh-huh. And uh, yes, but but not a, it's a very gradual thing which lasted many years. Mm-hmm. So maybe it, it lasted a, about, I don't know, a few years until 20 something that I could... I could say, uh, I don't believe. And after many, many more years, <laughs> I realized that not believing is also believing, and I got comfortable not knowing. <laughs> <laughs> it's better to live not knowing than uh, thinking to know something, <laughs> which may or may not be true. <laughs> or thinking that you don't know. <laughs> ah, nice. Well, what what we know is what is here. Yeah, right? nice Directly. one. Nice one. We know yeah. what is here. I know I'm, there is a conversation going on here. There are words coming out. There are colors. I know that. Mm. There's something going on. I know that. There's existing or life or being. You know, being. I know that. You know, you know I, I could go deeper than this. Uh-huh. And um, I would say that this knowing that uh, I'm here and you are there is also to be doubted. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think there are many, many more concepts that we are taking for granted as beliefs. Like I'm here, you are there. Like I'm speaking. But um, these are concepts, there are sounds Mm -hmm. coming together and there is uh, perceiving. So um, I think there are more levels of perceiving, which is the normal way when we talk. But I've come to doubt even this. Because... It's somehow limiting. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't have uh, many people to talk to about this, but uh, this is my uh, my practice. I, I I I try to not take for for granted as much as I think, as much as I can, anything. Mm-hmm. So I, for me, I rather than me being here and you there, I I would say on a more deeper level, 
there is some kind of energy going on. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we can call it that. <laughs> but it's here, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, anyway, yeah. I, I want to just, just, it's here. Yeah, you're right. It's that's, here. that's, yes. I that's, know that. Something yeah. is here. That's it. That's it. Something is here. Uh, yeah. Something is. Yes. Some, something is. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, this feels more true for me. Mm. And this, which is here right now in this moment, it's showing up as this, and that's it. I mean, it's not a matter. Exactly. You don't need to do anything about it. There is no exactly. control exactly. over what is here exactly. showing up. Exactly. You know? exactly. And there is knowing of that. Yeah. Even beyond thoughts, because thoughts come in and label and say, okay, this is a screen, exactly. this is a camera, mm -hmm. this is a hand, mm -hmm. this is... Mm -hmm. a... Yeah, but be behind that, exactly. there is that direct knowing. Yeah. Mm. So that we know, everything else we don't know. <laughs> yeah. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Like, why is it here? How come it's got here? Yeah. We don't yeah. know that. We don't know. And it seems to me that the more we lose ourselves into this concept and, and think things as are as I'm as I'm seeing them or I don't know, this is black. What is black? It's a word. <laughs> it's a concept. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it, this is how I try to observe things. And uh, it seems to deepen, but very, very, very slowly, very, very slow, slowly, this kind of a knowledge seems to deepen and widen. And um, slowly, because in uh, normal life, um, I think uh, real spiritual people are very few. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you even know? know what is spiritual people. Like, if you ask me this. I, I would say uh, something interesting. Uh, for me, spirituality means something, uh, someone who is interested in reality. That's More real, than... real, realism, spirituality is about, I don't know. Yeah. Spirituality is not about beliefs for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so so we, we, yeah, we should uh, define the terms. So for <laughs> me, <laughs> you know, in, in Buddhism, they, they take great care in uh, defining the terms uh, used. Yes. So I think it's important. So for me, spirituality is not about belief um it's about reality mm -hmm. and also um, buddha's teachings uh, are also about uh reality and uh, anyway they he says that um, you don't uh, have to believe him and you should not believe him uh you know it's like um the finger pointing to the moon is the uh, an old saying that you, you don't worship the finger you have mm -hmm. to go to them to the moon so yeah. it's like this it's like this so i use uh, uh, these teachings like tools mm -hmm. also uh, in a way our meeting it's also a tool to deepen the mm -hmm. this 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 uh, knowing of reality as i would say Okay, so let's call yeah. it simply knowing of reality or recognizing reality. Because spirituality word is so much. You're right. It's it's, it's so loaded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different yeah. people and all different yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, angels yeah. and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't even want to come. Yeah. So there is knowing of this presence. Aware presence. And that's it. Yeah. That's it. Mm. 
my mind wants to say that um, there is also uh, ah, I have to word, to use that word again. Uh, uh, the the let, uh, let's say the seeker. The, the, there is also a seeker, a seeker's conditioning going on. True. Yes. <laughs> and um, uh -huh. uh, somehow that feels uh, important for me. For me, and by seeking, I mean that while observing um, I would say uh, observing the, the the reality deconstructs these false uh, assumptions that are unconscious. I, I want to say that it's important to not just sit back and uh, and look at all of this, but to do something. Again, it feels like the seeker is practicing meditation. Um, observing mind states and uh, how they uh, interfere with each other and how the mind gets uh, pushed and pulled in situations. And this seems like a doing. It seems like a doing, like I'm doing meditation, I'm um, observing the mind. I am observing what leads to um, bad states of mind, wh what leads to good states of mind. While observing, mm -hmm. of course, we choose more and more uh, to do things that lead in the long run to good states of mind. So this still feels like a doing for me. I don't know if it is or not. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check it out. <laughs> <laughs> How would you know if there is a doing or a happening? What's the difference between doing and happening? That's a good one. So I, I seem, I'm not able to find the difference. Okay, let's let's look at something very basic, like right, mm -hmm. the finger is moving, the hand is moving. Mm -hmm. Is this mm -hmm. a doing or a happening? No, this is a happening. Okay, and thoughts? Thoughts come, stay and go. Also. Is it a doing or a happening? Happening. Oh, so what is it doing? It seems in the observing. Oh, the observing is doing. Interesting. <laughs> How do you do <doing> observing? <laughs> <laughs> How do you do know the same? <laughs> I would say by <clears throat> by trying to <clears throat> to deepen the field of view, to relax. Okay, so what you are oh. saying, doing means trying. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That sensation of trying or struggle or pressure. Yeah, yeah. Is it maybe happening as well? <sighs> For sure it must be happening based on conditioning, but it feels like a doing. Feels like a doing. Yeah. So are you doing that pressure for yourself? I notice it. Of course. <laughs> are you doing this noticing or you notice it? 
Kur sa indi ingi? How not to do it? The only thing that makes it into a doing is a labeling. Saying, I'm doing it. Thought comes in and says, I'm doing this. I'm doing observing. I'm making it happen. I'm trying to observe. But noticing is effortless. Witnessing is effortless. You're right. So the thought comes in, and it seems like a thought is claiming doership. But mm -hmm. can a thought do anything? Mm -mm. What no, can no. a thought do? I think a thought can um, deceive um, me and present as itself as me <laughs> or, as, or as a self. <laughs> it's kind of funny, isn't it? Yeah. But it's thoughts about deceiving, thoughts about claiming ownership, thoughts yeah, about. Yeah. I know, I know that you are right in what you are saying. I I feel it. That, that that you you are right in saying uh, observing is effortless it's it's uh, like a, there is a doll in russia which has many dolls in it you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> um so it, it's uh, in uh, programming because i'm and mm -hmm. I, it's called it's called a recursive function you know a recursive function is you set uh, a function that starts to execute and mm -hmm. and then calls itself again. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, and again and again and again and again until some condition is met. So it seems it's some kind of a trick like this in, okay, there is stress in life. And uh, then what to do? Uh, I start to observe it. But... Uh, Who's doing the observing? No one's doing the observing, but the stress is still is still there. Um, so I try harder to look, mm -hmm. but it seems that this is a lie because looking takes no effort. So it's <laughs> right. So what's it's... going on here is push and pull, push and pull. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, you know, the desire and aversion. Yeah, like, yeah. Or attachment to the outcome. Exactly. But exactly. there is stress. There is wanting to get rid of stress. So that means it's pushing the stress away. And wanting some better state. Exactly. So that's the dynamics what is going on. But nobody's doing that. Stress comes exactly. up. It feels uncomfortable. Exactly. There is natural inclination, natural programming exactly. to exactly. feel better. I would say that, exactly, but I would say that this belief that stress uh, or bad, let's say bad uh, feelings are bad and good feelings are good, I, I, I think this is the, the problem because if I would not believe that stress is bad or uh, something, a, a bad sensation or unpleasant, let's say, sensation is unpleasant. If, if I would not think like that um, and say, you know, I had a mystical experience once when I saw this, um, suffering uh, to be absent yes, in the sense yes. that there is, there is only uh, unpleasant feeling. That, that's the only thing there is. Uh, suffering is not. <laughs> it's something made up uh, or some resisting maybe um, but still in, in day to day I, um, I in the normal I feels this push and pull yeah. and feels this stress and somehow somehow uh, this brings me to operate from a normal self-view. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like I have to fix that unpleasant situation. Yeah. I have exactly. to fix that unpleasant exactly. feeling. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. But what if, let's just look at this. There are pleasant sensations, unpleasant sensations. And they all okay. That unpleasant can be unpleasant. You know, they need to fight it. It's unpleasant. So what? Can it be okay? Sure. Well, everything is okay because uh, if if I if I think of it, uh, if I calm down, I think uh, look, everything is happening as it should because it's there are many reasons for which uh, pleasant and unpleasant things are happening, and this very moment cannot be otherwise than it is. So, in that sense, it's perfect, and I would even dare to say it holy. <laughs> 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 but when <laughs> yeah but when trying to fix it that's when problems arise and fix it externally and internally also mm. now let's look at this seeking in a, thinking seeking like ah, seeking. Seeking. seeking okay okay, okay. okay. so what is seeking it's an unconscious pattern also and how does it work if you look at seeking, let's say this is energy of seeking. It's got two ends. And one end yeah. is outwards. Like somebody has what I don't have. Or this moment is not good enough. In the future, if I do this or if I mm -hmm. fix that, it's going to be okay. That's seeking. It's outwards. Yes. Right? This end at the same time is running away from something. Mm -hmm. So it's arising as together. It's running away from current unpleasant situation or feeling or sensation into some imagined future where that sensation is not there. Yes. Right? That's seeking. Like, and there's yeah. nobody doing yeah. that. But as soon as there is some kind of unpleasant, unwanted, negative, bad sensation or emotion, there is a seeking to fix it by looking outwards and trying to find the solution for that. But the solution is this. Flip. <laughs> yeah. Like what is already here? Okay, but it, that's also that, that's what I'm doing now. Uh, that's yes. what I'm doing now. Uh, but it feels like also seeking. No, it's not seeking. It's looking at what is here. And that attention when it's observed, when it's allowed, when it's welcomed, when it can be here as it is, without running away, pushing a pull, that attention alone, that power of presence alone, is what gives that space for that unpleasant tightness, contraction, conditioning, to open up and self-adjust. You're right. So the seeking is outwards, but as soon as you turn it back and start looking, aha, uh -huh, what is going on here? What am I running from? Can that be allowed? It's already here. You are right. That's and I'm conscious of it. I've I've be, I've um, uh, experienced this, and I I think I really know what what you are talking about. So it is like it, it, in reality, it happens like this. When when looking, you give space for whatever is to I don't know to unwind and so on. But um, it seems to me, maybe for sure I'm wrong, or something is blocking this thing to happen more often, let's say. No, because when, as I said, when I have energy and I do this and I have the capacity to look, that's it. It's exactly like that. But when I don't really look, oh, it's, it's it's somehow easier to look up, a, I don't know, a, a video on YouTube or an, on an interesting spiritual subject. <laughs> subject. <laughs> <laughs> then, then looking. Then looking. Yeah. If I would have a choice right now, I would say I will look always, every moment. But what's wrong with looking but at I, some funny I, video or some... What's wrong with that? 
When you are tired, uh, you need rest. I think I'm not paying attention to what's really going on inside. Hmm. So and the mind needs I... to rest from that. To oh. what? Mm -hmm. Like, is it okay <laughs> to watch these videos when you're tired? Do you need some special permission <laughs> from yourself to just enjoy, watch some nonsense or fun? Or... Yeah, you know, because because if I relax too much, then um, uh, good states of mind, you know, so um in um, buddhism they talk about also effort and the right effort mm -hmm. not not too much not too little the right amount of effort and if you don't do that if you don't put effort in it in i mean put effort in observing what is leading to uh, bad states of mind mm -hmm. and what what leads away to um mm -hmm from uh, bad states of mind and to good states of mind. And also there is the next level of effort of um, trying to do, to, to act in such a way that future good states of mind may arise mm -hmm. and future bad states of mind do not arise. So oh. mm -hmm. this is, um, this seems like a doing and it seems yes. when i uh, when when i'm looking on internet i'm not doing that so it seems like i'm um, staying in place and uh, not progressing this is what how it's it it felt it feels afterwards like ah i'm losing time i see i see okay well what comes here is that Yes, there are so many ideas about how you should live your life. So many ideas. And if you start looking into one concept like Buddhism, or another concept like, you know, Christianity, or mm. everyone tells you how to be. Everyone knows how you should behave or how you should put effort on do stuff to get mm. better state. Truthfully, nobody knows how to be you, what works for you. Mm. It's your own. Yeah, I know. It's a, your I own have... playground. And yes, you yeah. can read that for entertainment. Yeah. But if you take that concept seriously, you are lost in that concept and you are lost yeah, yeah, yeah. in continuous seeking because it's never enough. It's never yeah. enough. You, you can't sit down and relax and watch some funny video because... Somewhere in the background, there is this belief that this is no good, that you're wasting time. I think there is something here. Uh, be, being automatically or not, uh, seeking, although it's, it's conceptual and uh, seems like an effort and in some ways sustains a seeker, mm -hmm. a seeker, it it is also important, you know, in in a way, because without seeking, we're not fighting. But you're right. I I think it, the the same is true that we cannot find by seeking. <laughs> yes, it needs to so, be turned uh, home. What is here? Yeah, because yeah. yeah, that that flip it's from looking for to looking at what is already here. Yeah. And forget the future and future states. It's not here. Yeah, sure, sure. What is here right now is, is sure. this yeah. moment as it's showing up, these sensations as they're showing up. Is that enough? Give me a minute. <laughs> is it enough? It should be. Oh, no, no, it but... shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know it should be? It should be deeper, bigger. No. No, it's already what it is in, in its own completeness. Exactly. And I would say this completeness includes also the seeking and everything else. Yes. Um, like 
we and all concepts and all concepts of spirituality and so on. But without concepts, what is here? Just not referring to the mind at all for mm. no bit, just looking at what is here right now. Yeah, we're coming back to the sensation. Coming of course, it's it, it, the sensation. Openness, yeah. Openness. Presence. And to noticing, and to noticing, yes. And silence. Silence, when of course. This is, silence. When this is not on, silence. it's quiet. Yes. Wow. This is what I want, silence. <laughs> so you are going to find silence by making noise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but can I do it otherwise? Breathe. You're already here. Where else can you be? What else can this be? It's already here. Yeah. So it's like settling in or leaning back or relaxing into what is already here yeah mm. you know i uh, also had some mystical experience it is about and, and i think those maybe work against in a way, I, they help in a way and they work against. Uh, so I had the, a few experience uh, of, let's say, oneness, like I, I am the only one, I am everybody, I am me and you and everybody. Um, those were powerful experiences. Um, uh, when they happened, they made a big impact. Also, uh, sometime afterwards, maybe they still do, but I realized, realized that's also experience. And uh, I realized that uh, for sure, okay, it's fine that those experiences happened, but most of the 99.9999 percent this is what <laughs> this is the experience not that one <laughs> and um, I think there is um, and uh, this seeking that somehow somehow maybe we we could have more than to, to transform this experience to be more like uh, it is today to be more like uh, those spiritual experiences and this is when i think it works against us because we're yeah. still looking for it yeah unconscious because it Uncon was so nice and felt so good i want more of it yeah but, but it's like i had yesterday breakfast and it was delicious exactly how can i eat yesterday's exactly. breakfast again exactly and exactly. today's breakfast is here, and I'm thinking yeah. about yesterday's breakfast. Exactly. I'm not enjoying today's. But 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 I I think I but I think that that uh, that went also into a conditioning mm -hmm. that is running around like a thief in the background. <laughs> but you you can look at this as a blessing also because you had a taste of something, and you mm. want it. And it's calling. And you know it's possible. Because mm. it was your experience. Mm. So now it's here as well. It's right here right now. It's just something is covering exactly. it up. Exactly. All these ideas exactly. that this moment yeah, can yeah, be or yeah, should yeah, be yeah. different. But it's already yeah, yeah, here. Yeah. yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. There, there, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. And what I'm doing, I'm trying to okay, this is not good throw it up to deconstruct uh, this conditioning hmm. and for a while that's what's happening hmm. but you can also see that you're not doing it it's already unfolding. E exactly that's the trick yeah yeah 
And whatever is this next step that is presenting right now is already here, like this conversation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hmm. okay, so we can meet again if you want and continue. We'll see what happens. Yep. <laughs> well, well, thank you so much for being thank open you. and brave. Thank you. Thank, <laughs> thank you. thank you. And um, thank you for for what you are doing. And I think you're doing a lot of good in this world. So. Okay. Uh, a lot so of good. See, I will see you soon and we continue <laughs> and we'll you know, yeah. take take this unfoldment as you can. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Elena. Thank you, Laurentia. Bye. And I'll see you soon. Bye yep. for now. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like, share, and comment. And subscribe if you haven't already for more of these kind of videos. And if you need help. Please come to Liberation Unleashed, where guides are waiting for you and can give you a hand to explore your direct experience. Or if you need my help, you can find me on ilanatsunaita.com. Just send me a message through there and we can set up some session. Thank you for watching. Bye for now. Till next time. <laughs>